every year there's new trail cameras coming out with more megapixels, better video quality, more features. But today I'm going to talk about two trail cameras specifically that have lasted me for years and have always been very reliable. Both cameras I'm going to talk about are available on Amazon for under $50. So as always, I'll put the links to all these products in the description below. The first camera I want to talk about is made by Akazo. Akazo makes a variety of outdoor cameras and action cameras. I've been using this particular camera for three years. Um, it takes video, it takes pictures, or you can set it to take both. When you set it to take both, it'll take a still shot and then a 10 second video. Uh, it also has a display screen inside so that you can click through your pictures without even taking the memory card off to see what you have. Um, the battery life is very good. Even when I have it set on pictures and video, I can go about three months on normal AA alkaline batteries without changing them. So I can no longer find this particular model on Amazon. They've upgraded it to a newer version. Um, it's basically the same camera They've added two additional sensors in the front that allow for a wider detecting range. Um, the new version, it now has 120 degree angle detecting range. It's got a 0.4 second trigger speed and it is 16 megapixels and also 1080p video quality. And it's still priced at $49.99 on Amazon, which is a great deal compared to other cameras with this with similar features and quality. Um, Akazo also makes a wide variety of action cameras. Um, I actually use this here. This is their equivalent to the GoPro. I use this for a lot of self filming. Uh, I mount it on my bow or on my gun or even on my head if I'm if I'm walking public land. The quality is very good on one of these. Uh, it's very comparable to a GoPro, but it's a fraction of the price. I'll throw the link to this in the description as well. So camera number two, this is the most trusted camera, most reliable camera I've ever owned. I've been running this particular camera here for four years. Um, I have three of these cameras. This is the Wild Game Innovations Terra Extreme. This is the 10 megapixel version which is lower than a lot of the new cameras out now. Um, they offer a wide variety in these. The 10 megapixel version with the infrared flash goes for $40 on Amazon. Now, 10 megapixels is substantially lower than a lot of the new cameras on the market, but these cameras have worked for me 100% of the time. I've never had a failure with these cameras. I've never gone out there and found that the camera wasn't taking pictures when I thought it was. Now, this camera it has that price tag of just $40. Now, the great thing about this camera is they do offer different options now. They offer upgraded options. So you can get the upgrade to the 14 megapixels with the infrared flash for only $44. So you're still well under that $50 mark. You can upgrade to the invisible flash and you're going to come in at $69, which is still very affordable for a very reliable camera. This camera features both photo and video. Um, now, I will say I mainly use these cameras for photo only. I don't normally use the video setting on these. The battery life on these is also very good. It takes eight AA batteries. Um, this will also last me probably three months before I have to change the batteries. Of all the cameras I've owned, this is by far the most re reliable camera. And I only say it's more reliable than the Akazo because I've owned it longer. So I've had more time to test it and I haven't had any complaints. This camera, like I said, is 10 megapixels. It's got a 0.75 second trigger speed. Um, the video quality is only 720p. Like I said, I don't normally use it for the videos, I use it for the photos. But with the Wild Game Innovations offering multiple options under $50 in this same line of camera, you can't go wrong with one of these cameras. I'll put the links to all their options in the description. Now, this camera that you see here is the SpyPoint Link Micro LTE. Now, it's not under $50 on Amazon, but it is a very cheap intro camera to the cell cams. I do have an entire separate video for this, uh, a review of this camera. So if you're looking to get into cell cams for a very affordable price, watch that video. I will put the link up top here at the end of this video. 
So let's recap for a minute. The Acaso is offering picture and video quality comparable to cameras that are costing over twice as much. Um, the features in this camera are up there with some of the best cameras with the display screen, the 1080p video, and the 16 megapixel camera. Now, the Terra Extreme is not quite as advanced with the megapixels, the video quality. There's no internal screen, there's no display screen inside. It's a very basic camera, which I tend to like because it's less things to go wrong with the camera. Um, if the screen goes out on that one, you lose your ability to change a lot of the options and settings. And this one is very straightforward. It's got a small screen here, basic functions. The technology of this camera isn't quite as impressive as some of the other ones, not even as impressive as the Acaso, but it's a very reliable camera at a very affordable cost. So whether you're running a couple cameras on a small parcel or you're running 30 cameras on a large parcel, um, think about these two options and I hope this video is gonna help you get the best camera for your budget. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. As always, make sure to contact us for the Habitat Solutions on your whitetail property. Also, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video.